Fairy Tales from the Fairy Trail, miles 1,375.5 to 1,474.4. During all that time, summer had come in full force, and the Lord Summer was presiding over the land. And while that meant sunny and f- days and fully flowered trees, it also meant sweltering heat, oppressive humidity, and dry springs. In fact, the lack of water was rather frightening, and the only thing that kept us from danger was careful planning and the kindness of strangers who left caches of water along the trail. Still, the lack of water was not only frightening, it was downright annoying. So as I walked through the marshes and fields of the country, I found Lord Summer and confronted him. The Lord was tall and noble, and everything about him was sun-kissed. His hair was golden as thread, his his skin was like honey in the sun, his eyes were bright as the clear blue sky, and his great robes were the colors of ripe fruits and full leaves. He was great, noble, and beautiful, and when I asked about the water, he sighed and said, Alas, the rains do not come, because the spirits of the storm are kept away. Deep in the mountains, an imp has captured one of the great trees. This tree is as old as the forest, and it governs the region through the seasons. For while nature is wild and free, it still needs guidance to keep one thing from overbalancing another. But this goblin, in a fit of mischief, has put the dryad of the great oak asleep, and is now keeping the rains away. Remove the goblin from the tree, and the rains will come again. The trail led us through tight stony corners and down steep cliffs and through rolling fields. But in the end we found the great oak, and there was the imp, small and spindly, cackling among the roots. Imp, I called, what are you doing? Leave the tree and let the rains come. No, the goblin snapped. No, 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 mine, mine, mine. The tree is mean and does not rule well. I rule better. I will not leave. No, no, no. Now at this point I was annoyed, tired, frustrated, and sweating more than a downhill donkey on an uphill road. So I ignored ignored all caution and rules of engagement and fixed him with my sharpest glare and demanded, Why? The goblin flinched and said weakly, The rain washes away the chalk. I need the chalk. I like to draw with it. Knowing that the things goblins draw are things best washed away, I could not summon much pity for him. So I played a little trick of my own. I gave him a pencil and said that this was better than chalk, which is true, but not for the reason the goblin suspected. He took it to mean that the rain would not touch the pencil, So he took it and ran away laughing. I shook my head and woke the dryad, and soon everything would be put to rights. I stepped onto the fairy trail and stepped into a fairy tale, and though my name was lost to me, I found my path clear and free, so now there is nothing left to do but walk a mile in another's shoes and hope to find what was lost to me, the mountain lord, my way to keep until I find my way back home, where I might live true and known forevermore, forevermore.